Hello everybody, welcome back to the Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you to build this awesome Minecraft blacksmith. This blacksmith is very simple and it will look excellent along with all your other medieval builds. To get started, you want to start off by making an iron join just like this for purple and yellow bits are our main building, for white and orange bits are the porch area, and the, and the green and red area is where our main furnace will be. Next, you want to get started by just placing stone blocks on top of your purple and yellow outline. We can then fill this in. Next, we want to go to the corner of a build and build up five with our stripped spruce rock. Then, we three blocks and do another pillar. We three blocks and do another pillar. We can then go ahead and replicate this on the opposite side. Next, we want to take our stripped spruce wood and just take it across the top, filling in the gap. Next, we want to come to the front of our house and just at this bit with sticks right here, we want to build up two blocks with our stripped wood. Do this on either side. Next, we can fill in the gap here using our white concrete. Now, we can take our dark oak stairs and build a little arched roof just like this. We can then place a spruce door right here. Next, we want to move right to the right hand side of our house and on this first wall here, we want to build a little window to circus, the spruce trap doors on either side, and a slab underneath. Now, on the wall next to it, we want to fill this in entirely with our white concrete. Moving on to the left hand side of the build now, we will put two windows just like we did on the opposite side. So we want two windows with spruce trap doors either side, with a slab underneath it. Next, we can move on to the back of our house and we're going to do something very similar to what we did at the front. So, you want to first get your white concrete and just build them up at either side. Next, we can take our stripped spruce wood and place two blocks here, followed by filling in the remaining bit above it. Now, we take our dark oak stairs and just make another arched roof. Now, Instead of placing a door here, we're going to place a white concrete park followed by a grass pane. Now, we want to start by building the main roof of our house, so we want to take our dark oak stairs and run them along just like this. Now, we want to place a dark oak stair with a spruce plank on top followed by an old dark stair. Repeat this pattern until you get to the middle. Now once you're at the middle, you want to place an upside down stair with a slab on top. Now we just want to copy our pattern onto the other side. Once you have an arch that works something like this, we can take our dark oak stairs and replicate that onto the other side. To fill this in faster, I'm going to be using world edit and I'll be using the slash slash stack command. If you don't know how to use world edit, I have a tutorial linked here. Now, coming to the front of our house again, we want to fill in the remaining gap here with our white concrete blocks. We want to then punch out two blocks for a window. Under this we will place a spruce stair with a fire pot on top of it. We will then also place two spruce trap doors either side. Next, coming around to the back of a house, we will do the exact same. So you again want to fill in this area with your white concrete 
knock out two holes then for your window with a glass block at the top, glass pane at the bottom, spruce stair underneath with trap doors at either side. So by now, our house is ready to on the take shape. Next, I'm just going to get some white concrete powder and just press that just randomly, just add a bit of texture into your build. You don't have to do this, and you don't even have to use white concrete powder. Instead, you could maybe use white wool, but personally, I feel like white concrete works a lot better. Next now, we're going to make this our main porch. So I'm going to place three stone stairs up here. And then I'm going to place a stone block in at the corner. Followed by four stone brick stairs with a stone brick in next to it. I then fill all this area in here with my stone bricks. Next we're going to make a staircase, so I just put a line of stone brick stairs, followed by a line of stone brick slabs. Now, on the core, on top of the stone bricks, I place stone brick walls, and then I connect them up with fence gates. Now, coming around to this side, I just want to place four stripped spruce logs up on a pillar at each corner, with a slab in the middle, and spruce stairs at either side. Next, I get my white concrete and build a little pyramid shape like this, and then I just put two stripped wood at the side. Next, I get my spruce swabs and bring them all the way across with a spruce stair connecting it. I do this on both sides. So now, we want to start by building the roof, so I get my dark oak stairs this time. Bring them across like this, making an archway, just like this. I've also then fill in the rest of it then with my deep suede brick stairs. Next, I want to just knock out a lot of glass here and replace it with gravel. You can do this in a pattern you'd like, but if you'd like, you can copy what I've done here. I then remove all the grass here, and I fill it all in with my gravel. Again, you don't have to use gravel, you could use cobblestone and the side, whatever block you choose. Next, I want to build a little water trough using three stone brick stairs. Now, I get my cobblestone, and I start to build the main furnace. I place my cobblestone stairs just like this. I then place a cobblestone block behind it and then I do my stair path in the exact same. I then punch out a hole directly in the middle for my lava. I then place upside down stone stairs on top and I replicate this pattern on both sides. So now I want my cobblestone stairs facing inwards like this. I place a stone block in between them and then place another two cobblestone stairs. Next, I start to build my chimney upwards. I then just remove some cobblestone blocks and place those with cobblestone stairs. This should give us something that looks like this. In a moment then, we will connect that chimney up to the rest. Next, I fill in just these gaps here with white concrete. Then, underneath my deep side bricks, I place deep side stairs. Then, at the very top, I place in dark oak wood planks. We are now almost done with our build. Next, I want to get an anvil 
and smooth stone box. I place my anvil here, my smooth stone box next to my furnace with two sides on each side. Next, we got our grey banner on our spruce signs. I place my grey banner on one of the pillars, and then at the very bottom block of the pillars, I place my spruce signs. Next, we want to build our chimney, so I punch out a hole just one block over from the main roof, and I begin to build a little chimney just like this. I place a campfire on top to give us that smoke effect and then I place sp spruce trap doors just around the campfire. We are now more or less finished with this build but I'm just going to add a few extra details just around the front. So next I get some cobblestone, some andesite, stone buttons, glass blocks and dirt and I just begin to add bits of those here and there in amongst the gravel. You can also put some dirt patches like I've done over in that corner there. You can also as well start to form just a little grass pathway leading up to your blacksmith house. Once you've done this, your build is more or less complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more building related content, then be sure to like and subscribe as it really helps push my channel into the YouTube algorithm. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye!